briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a case that spotlighted the nuances of insurance policy interpretation, Lewis Hecker sought restitution from Jessica Wright and her insurers for alleged acts of harassment and defamation by Wright. This harassment, Heeker claimed, took various forms, hacking his voicemail and Facebook accounts, sending derogatory letters and emails, and making anonymous phone calls and texts. Heeker's case took a particular twist when he further claimed negligent supervision of Wright's children, who he suggested may have been her partners in the offenses. Orchestrating a chess-like move during the trial, Heeker came to a settlement with one of Wright's insurers. He then adapted his lawsuit to pursue an equitable garnishment action against Wright and any remaining insurers. The aim, a lofty $7.3 million judgment he had managed to obtain against Wright. But Heeker's strategy hit a stumbling block. The district court scrutinized the insurance policy's minutia and decided that Heeker's claims didn't match the coverage stipulations. Heeker's claims of PTSD and alcoholism as a result of Wright's actions, they ruled, were not the bodily sicknesses or diseases cited in the insurance policy. This spurred another round in the legal arsenal. The Court of Appeal was called to examine the case yet again. Much to Heeker's dismay, the court echoed the lower court's decision. They maintained that Hecker's case, whether grounded on intentional or unintentional acts, didn't qualify for coverage in the insurance policies. They backed the district court's granting of the insurer's summary judgment, further solidifying the arduous task of proving claims within the policy's scope. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.